Have you ever had a bird be completely in love with you and be kind of a stalker? I have. This is Sky. This is Reptile Party's YouTube channel. again to another episode of the uh, Calgary Reptile Parties and YYC Nature Center uh, YouTube channel. And uh, this week, uh, if you caught us last week and if you haven't, go watch that video. Uh, you met Joey the Amazon Parrot and uh, this week I want to introduce you to Sky. Um, so Sky is a uh, blue and gold macaw. Macaws are the largest, or one of the largest species of parrots because the caca 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 is the largest. So so the macaws are generally some of the larger parrots in the world. There's about 360 or so different parrot species that are alive today. Um, the hyacinth macaw is the largest parrot, uh, just in terms of body length and tail length. Um, the heaviest parrot is the kakapo, which is uh, an endangered parrot from New Zealand. Um, they look like moss chickens and they're adorable. Unfortunately, they're very highly endangered, so they have a whole ranger team that are like dedicated to, you know, protecting them and breeding them and just babysitting them. Um, and they are the heaviest parrot. Uh, they're also the only nocturnal parrot and the only flightless parrot. That's kind of interesting. Was it kakapo? Kakapo. Kakapo. Yep. You say Which is both the tomorrow. singular and the plural. <laughs> so I can say, hey, look, there's a kakapo. Or, look at all those kakapo, and they're both grammatically correct. So, uh, Sky here. Uh, Sky has a thing for uh, tall men with facial hair. Uh, I am both of those things. Uh, Tyler, who has been also on this tour with us, uh, used to be, he jokes he used to be Sky's girlfriend, and then I came along and uh, became a homewrecker and stole her, uh, because she is very, very much... Uh, smitten with me which is which is kind of nice um you know when we first uh so uh, Haley and the birds have been have been staying with us my my whole team has been staying with us uh over the course of this tour over three months and uh so sky would be on top of her uh, on top of her cage and i would be on the couch and i would just hear like clack 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 and she would climb down climb on over to where i was sitting look at me and go hello and if I put my foot down, she, she would climb up onto my leg and climb up onto me and, and hang out. And she and I have become um, become really close, I think. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting that you can, you know, develop bonds and relationships with animals besides dogs and cats. And it can be mutual. Being a reptile guy, you know, the snakes don't care about me. Um, most of my reptiles don't care about me. But, uh, my neither. But, uh, you know, she absolutely does have a entirely different uh, reaction, which can be a positive and a negative. Um, so tell us about some of the pros and cons of owning a macaw. They are loud. Yep. With a capital L-O-U-D. And especially when the sun comes up. Oh, yeah. So in, uh, in the wild, people refer to them as, well, and parrots in general, as nature's alarm clocks. Because as soon as the sun comes up, they do basically, like, uh, a count off in their flock and they want to you know like be like hey the sun is up it's a new day and also you know make sure everybody's accounted for in the flock um so uh if you go down to the rainforest in south america and you you know don't have good soundproofing in the place that you're staying in or sometimes even if you do have a good soundproofing uh as soon as the sun comes up you will hear like macaw shrieks which are i call big dinosaur shrieks um, they don't sound like birds at all. They sound like dinosaurs. Um, you'll hear that like incessantly as soon as the sun comes up and then they do it again just before the sun goes down again to like assemble the flock and make sure everybody's accounted for. Yeah. It's uh, been a few mornings, early morning where they've been downstairs in a room that has light coming in. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep and it's six in the morning and just hear both Joey and Sky start yelling and screaming and those are the moments when I don't love them. It's kind of like children. That's why I have blackout curtains uh, in my house, but you do not. So. Well, and I mean, having <laughs> having especially 
I mean, a lot of birds, but especially a parrot is mm-hmm. kind of like having a kid. It's basically, I mean, any parrot person will tell you it's basically like having a toddler because these guys have, like, the medium to large parrots can have the about the equivalent intelligence of like a three to five year old human. Step up. Um, but it's like having a toddler Step who up. comes uh, equipped with a uh, an air horn. She's like, no, I like my children. Step up. Uh, it's like having a toddler that comes equipped with an air horn and power tools, and you cannot confiscate the air horn or the power tools from said toddler. So it's almost, I would wager, easier to toddler-proof your house than it is to parrot-proof your house. Now, uh... Come here. Yeah, I want people to get a closer look at her. Uh, I love the white around her eyes. Uh, her color is really pretty, but one of the things you'll also notice if you take a closer look at her, uh, she does have a little bit of, um... Of feathers still sticking out, but when we first uh, met in February, uh, this bird's chest looked very, very different. Yeah. So, um, so prior to COVID, Sky was fully feathered, um, and during COVID, when we were all in isolation, you know, we couldn't go out and do the events that we normally do. Uh, she would come to work with me, and and we would do shows and things like that. And, you know, we would go to the park and we would go to friends' houses and parents' houses and all places. So we couldn't do all that when we were all in isolation. So Sky got really, uh, like, bored and depressed and uh, stressed out. And she was probably picking up on my anxiety and my depression as well. Um, so she started plucking. And that's a thing that can happen with birds. Um, you know, one of the downsides of being a intelligent social animal is that it predisposes you to a variety of mental health issues. And so a lot of parrots can have the same mental health issues that humans can have. There are parrots with PTSD. They can get depression, anxiety. They can, you know, not deal with stress well. Um, it all depends on the bird and depends on the situation. You know, if they're bored for however many hours a day, it's like, you know, sticking a toddler in a room with nothing to do and they're going to start climbing the walls as well. So during COVID, she actually was plucking to the extent that her legs were almost entirely bare. Um, Her lower belly was almost entirely naked. And she'd also started plucking like the tops of her wings a little bit. Um, We still have a little ways to go in terms of like, just like the size of her tummy under her wings a little bit. Um, but most of her feathers have started to come back really, really nicely. So, like, she really enjoys doing these exotic tours. Um, she loves all the attention. Uh, she loves, you know, people watching. And she's not starved of any stimulation whatsoever when we do these tours. So, I mean, it is great stimulation for them, uh, great enrichment for them to be involved with these programs and really, really good for their mental health as well as our mental health. <laughs> so, same thing. Uh, macaw, good choice for a pet. Uh, so, if you're the right person, and I stress that very much, um, you know, medium to larger sized parrots can make amazing companions. However, they are not for most people. These are not domesticated animals. So, if you compare this to a dog, it would be more like bringing a wolf into your house. Because dogs are basically domesticated wolves. Um, These guys are not domesticated. Uh, Joey and Skye are both captive bred, so they've never been to the Amazon rainforest. They would have no idea how to survive there or anything um, or find food there or whatever. Uh, But that doesn't mean that we, you know, they don't... They're still going to be parrots. It's like bringing a wolf into your house, as I said. So they still have all their wild instincts. Um, They will chew on everything you love. Uh, Sky has broken my phone screen. Your purse. Uh, My purse. Joey moved your purse. Well, we we don't know which of them it was. It was one of them. But either Joey or Sky have destroyed a couple of my jackets, one of my winter coats, um, uh, my phone screen, uh, my purse. Like everything they will chew on everything and they love shiny things they love things that make weird noises so like you know it's again like having a toddler run amok in your house (laughs) well uh it has been uh an 
awesome experience having a, t a, a Tyler, <laughs> a toddler run amok in my house. Uh, I'm definitely going to miss her, and I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity not only to uh, to share her with the people on the tour and the people watching on YouTube, but just to have her in my life for a few months. It's been a really special uh, special time, and uh, and you know. Animals uh, definitely get to your heart, even when they're not, uh, uh, you know, even when they are hard work and long lived and stuff like that. I mean, a parrot is the definition of a lifelong pet, uh, but, um, you know, I'm going to miss her definitely more than Joey. <laughs> and she's going to, like, see, she's, I think, I think she's, she's, there. she's definitely chose me, especially over Tyler. Uh, so that is our video. Uh, you know, there's so much more. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, just like nibble on the back of my neck. Uh, nibble, uh, there's so much more to but learn has, about parrots. But has she slept your tongue in your ears yet? No, but fortunately, at the end of this video, we're going to play that. <laughs> and Cameron, who's filming it, is the star of this video, and his eyes just went wide, so I can tell. He's... <laughs> you have to see it to believe it, folks. So, like, yeah, one of the challenges. And the funny thing is, is you'll see Cameron is neither tall nor uh bearded Beard. but for whatever reason that night they were they were doing some training sessions with her and she decided that she was oh. really enamored with cameron that night so uh this bird is a bit of a uh a hussy yeah. as tyler would say she's uh she likes her open relationships yeah, she likes her open, <laughs> so much so much for monogamy in birds um so that is our our video actually that's truth in science they used to think that birds were like super super monogamous and for the most part, they have mammals beat out in terms of how monogamous they are. Mammals are, mammals are sloppy. Yeah. Um, I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they've uh, discovered that a lot of a lot of birds, especially male birds, end up parenting chicks that are not always their own. So. Welcome to Bird Mori. <laughs> or Bird Birdie Springer. Here we go. Birdie Springer. Yeah. All right, so uh, thank you very much for, for checking out one of our videos. Uh, check out our bird playlist. Uh, we've got Birds of Prey. Uh, we have all sorts of videos on our channel. Uh, and if you're coming to Calgary, come check out the Nature Center. Unfortunately, uh, Sky and Joey are not going to be here for the foreseeable future, but hopefully we'll have them back. Um, but we do have some birds here, like Huck, our cockatoo, uh, with Juliet that we're working with. Um, you know, the Nature Center isn't just going to be about reptiles, we have mammals as well, and that's the same thing with this channel. So yes, it's the Reptile Party's YouTube channel, but we've had birds, we've had sloths, we've had bears, we've had lions. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, check out some of our old videos, uh, share this video if you enjoyed it for someone who would like to learn more about parrots. And all of our information is down below. You can support us on Patreon, see our YouTube videos first. Uh, we have a really adorable picture of a very uh, newly bathed sky uh, on our Patreon, for example, that is only there. So check all that out, folks. You can support us. That's a great way to support us from anywhere in the world. And thank you so much. Thank you, Haley. And um, we will see you next time.